find the equation of the locus of a point equidistant from points A and B. So we want to find the equation of a locus, and locus is a set of points. So a set of points can be a circle, it can be a line, it can be anything. A set of points with a particular, with a specific character. So here we want to find the locus of a point with the equidistant from A, which is 1, 3. So this point 1, this is A, uh, which is 1, 3. And B is negative 2, 1. So this is B, which is negative 2, 1. So you want to find you want to find a set of points which has a common character. And what's the character? The character is any point that you get should be equidistant from A and B. Now, uh, if you know the if you know about perpendicular bisector, a perpendicular bisector is a line which is with a line in which each point is equidistant from both these points. So let me draw a line segment joining these two points. So you want to suppose this is a line segment AB. We want to find a line. We want to find a locus, of course, and that locus would be a line, and such that that point is equidistant from A and B. So let me say, uh, say take a point somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, I don't know the coordinate, so I'll make a rough guess about the point is here, somewhere here. So that's the point P, and the coordinate is X comma Y. So we want to find, uh, we want to say, uh, these two, the distance from P to A is equal to the distance from A to P to B. So we want to find all the points which has this character. Okay, so this is the point. Okay, hopefully. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we want to find, we want to prove P A, P B is equal to P A. That's the character. So let P be the point x comma y. This is a general point uh, such that such that p a is equal to p b. The distance from p to a is equal to the distance from a uh, p to b. That's what that point is equidistant means at the same distance from a and b. This implies p a squared is equal to p b squared. Now, using the distance formula, using distance formula, which is nothing but Pythagoras theorem, using distance formula, uh, how can I write P A squared? P A squared would be x uh, take away negative 2. x take away negative 2 is x plus 2 squared plus uh, y minus 1 squared is equal to PB squared now or PA I should have gone the other way around so let me correct myself PA uh, it's always good to check your working so this is your A so PA squared would be X minus 1 squared plus <coughs> Y minus 3 squared is equal to PB which is X take away negative 2 is x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared just like that so now to expand this uh, using uh, perfect square this is a perfect square so I hope you know this is x squared minus 2x plus 1 this becomes y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to expanding the right hand side is x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 2y plus 1. So what can we cancel? We can cancel the x squared and x squared from both the sides. y squared and y squared gets cancelled. So let the let us bring the x's on one side and the y's on the other side. So this is, let me rewrite this, so minus 2x minus 6y. So this is 9 plus 1, 10 is equal to 4x, uh, 4x minus 2y 
plus 5. So let, let us take, uh, let us add, okay, let me change color. So let me add 2x to this side. So I'd add 2x to this side. To get rid of this minus 2x, I want to add 6y to this side. So I'll add 6y to this side. I want to bring the number on the other side. So it's minus 5, minus 5. I hope you understand my steps. So what happens now? So this is, this and this gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled. So this is 10 minus 5, which is 5, is equal to, this is 6x plus 4y. And this and this, of course, gets cancelled. So this implies 6x plus 4y is equal to 5 is a, is the locus of that point, or locus, which is a line. Now, <clears throat> I've already worked this out. Now, just to explain, now this this line would be a line which is perpendicular. So let me make a line would go somewhat like this. So this is, we're talking about this line. This is not exact, but just to give you an idea. Now, this line, this line is perpendicular bisector of this line segment, okay? Perpendicular bisector passes through the midpoint, okay? Uh, so, if you want to find this this point, this point is would be the midpoint. I don't have the time. You can do it. And that's your challenge. This point is midpoint, and this is intersecting at right angle. So this is a perpendicular bisector. I have worked the equation of line AB. The equation of line AB is this. This is equation of line AB. This is the working of equation of AB, equation of line AB, line segment AB, where the gradient is two-thirds. So the equation of line AB is this. You can check this out using uh, the gradient is two-thirds. So how did I get two-thirds? The rise is two and the run is three. Okay, And this is the equation of, oh, I have missed out. Okay, so I didn't work it out. So, it, uh, okay, so equation of the line that we got is 6x plus 4y is equal to 5. So, if you make 4y, if you write in terms of y, so this is minus 6x plus 5. So, dividing by 4, y is equal to minus 6 over 4x plus 5 over 4. So, you can see y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus one and one quarter so this line can you see that the gradient is minus two-thirds and this is two-thirds and if you multiply this to it is negative one hopefully uh, I have not confused you so this is the locus which is a line which is nothing but the perpendicular bisector of line segment TB